Hello, professors. I'm Ding Jingyin. I will explain to you in four parts according to the thesis research ideas. The first is the background of the selected topic, which can be seen from the line graph. Since the 21st century, the incidence and the mortality of female breast cancer have shown an overrising trend. DBT is internationally recognized as the latest and most accurate breast cancer screening technology, and I believe that the further popularization and development of DBT will be conducive to controlling the incidence of breast cancer. Next is a brief introduction to DBT instruments. Hologic system is claimed to be able to increase breast cancer detection rates by 20% to 65%, which means that it offers an advantage in detecting potential cancerous lesions. United Imaging System is claimed to reduce radiation dose by up to 41%, which is an extremely important safety advantage for patients. Next is an analysis of the advantages and limitations of DBT technology. In dense breast tissue, DBT outperforms FFDM, enabling better detection of calcifications and reducing tissue obstruction, enhancing detection rates. The figure demonstrates a comparison between FFDM and DBT detection images, highlighting the greater clarity and informativeness of DBT in breast imaging. This combined use of images shows a clear and more accurate view of the breast anatomy, helping physicians to more accurately diagnose um, potential uh, abnormalities. Furthermore, ultrasound combined with DBT enhances the diagnostic effectiveness of breast lesions when compared to either ultrasound or DBT alone. The study analyzed patients with three diagnostic modalities, DBT, ultrasound, and DBT combined with ultrasound and analyze the differences in the distribution of breast lesion diagnosed um, using the vi res classifications diagnosis. Combining DBT with ultrasound improves lesion diagnosis, especially for high-risk cases, potentially boosting cancer detection rates. DBT technology is now more widely used for breast screening. However, there were still limitations. The radiation dose to breast glands in DBT surpasses that of DM under similar compression conditions. Although DBT is superior to FFDM in the diagnostic rate of breast lesions, the imaging and the reading time of DBT is longer than that of FFDM and there are certain cognitive errors which are not favorable for imaging physicians to read the films. Next, DBT creates a 3D breast dataset, minimizing tissue overlap. UView is equipped with an intelligent reconstruction algorithm, which intelligently fuses 2D images in a single 3D short improving shooting efficiency and reducing radiation dose. The figure is a comparison of DBT and DBT combined reconstructed 2D images in UViews clinical applications. Presently, deep learning is integrated into mammography for enhanced diagnostic capabilities. Deep learning model encode pixel spatial relationships. In addition, the article suggests that applying deep learning to 2D images 
reconstructed from DBT three-dimensional data may achieve accuracy, recall, and average pixel optimization with lower radiation dose and higher reader efficiency. The article explores how can um, reconstructing 2D images from DBT 3D data enhances um, invasive cancer detection at lower radiation doses, especially PT1 sized cancers. It discusses deep learning's um, potential in reducing manual reading by 70% to 90% in mammography and proposes future sustainable research directions by combining deep learning with 2D image reconstruction. Additionally, it highlights the DCGNN model's role in enabling deep feature extraction for DBT S2D map data. Finally, the article proposes measures for the government, hospitals, and patients to cut the incidence of breast cancer and looks forward to the future progress in 3D CNN research. That was my speech. Thank you for listening.